Welcome to this 10-minute IT band routine covering the best exercises and stretches for hip pain and IT band pain, or iliotibial band syndrome. My name is Joelle, and let's start by coming onto our left side with the knees bent in front of us at a 90-degree angle, and then keeping the toes together, start opening and closing the knees. So these are our clamshells. And we'll be alternating between exercises for IT band pain today and stretches for IT band pain. So about 30 seconds each to really maximize relief to this area of the body. IT band pain can also be closely linked to hip pain or iliopsoas bursitis. So it's important to both work and stretch out that entire area. Great job. Now straighten out the bottom leg and grab hold of your top ankle to bring that foot in front of the body. You can either stay down on the elbow or maybe lift onto the hand and then use the right hand to push the right knee away. Maybe even pivoting the right foot onto the little toe side and breathing deeply in and out. This is the first of our stretches for today and we'll be saving the best one for the end of the routine. So something for all of us to look forward to, my personal favorite still, still to come. Lovely, so coming back down onto your elbow if you were up, re-bend the bottom leg and start to lift and lower that top straight leg. So IT band syndrome causes pain in the iliotibial band, which runs outside the leg from the hip to the knee, pretty much where the uh, white stripe on my outfit is. And it's really common for those of us who are runners or cyclists or hikers. I know I get pain here sometimes when I run a lot. And these exercises definitely help me. <laughs> so beautiful. Let's just switch over to the other side now, starting with our clamshell raises with the left knee opening and closing. Keep the abs tight and think about squeezing your glutes. So oftentimes IT band pain or hip pain in general is caused by what's called lazy glutes. Uh, so a lot of us, uh, a lot of what we're doing today is intended to strengthen and wake up our, our gluteus maximus. So I would recommend doing this once or twice a week to help with managing any pain. But you can also do this sequence every day if it's really an ongoing limitation. So let's move into that first stretch, helping our left foot in front of the body, either up uh, on the hand or down on the elbow, and using that hand to press the knee away. And maybe move around a little bit here to find the angle that feels best for you. I know that IT band pain can be very frustrating and discouraging, so please take a moment to thank yourself here for taking these 10 minutes to take care of yourself with this IT band routine. And then let's just re-bend the bottom leg, straighten the top one, and start lifting and lowering. Again, feel the work in the glute and along the side of that thigh. Picture a, a stripe running down the outside of your own leg if that helps, and visualize it working hard here. These exercises can also be progressed by using a stretchy band, so let me know in the comments in case you'd like to see any progressions in a future video. I'd be happy to help out if I can. Just keep breathing here. And now let's shift to sitting for a second yummy stretch. You can either come to a cross-legged position with the left foot in front of the right, or you can go a little bit further by crossing the knees one on top of the other. So left over right here, and you can either sit up tall or perhaps start to lean the upper body forward and breathing deeply. I know this one can be pretty intense, so we're aiming to get the knees directly on top of each other, but remember if that's too much for today, please back up a little bit. Very nice, so let's release that and we're simply gonna swap sides. So again, either sitting cross-legged or wiggling the right knee now on top of the left and deciding whether you might like to sit up tall or if it's appropriate to lean forwards today. This is sometimes called cow face pose, strangely enough, in yoga, uh, or I sometimes call it lady legs pose, but no matter what you call it, it's a wonderful posture for releasing pressure off the 
IT band and relieving pain on the outside of the thigh. All right, release that and let's roll onto our backs now for the rest of the routine. So bring the right foot flat on the floor and cross the left ankle on top of the right knee and begin to bridge the pelvis up and lower down. So go at your own pace here. These are our pigeon bridges, fantastic for stretching out the right glute and at the same time stretching the left IT band. So I know they're tough, but strengthening and stretching is a wonderful combo here and we've got a nice stretch coming up next. So release the motion and just lift the right knee towards the chest maybe holding on behind the left thigh or in front of the, uh, excuse me, right thigh or in front of the right shin. And just take this opportunity to come back to your breath, close your eyes, and just send the breath into the outside of that left thigh, inviting it to release, reminding yourself that the pain will pass. And let's just change sides now. So bring the left foot uh, on top of the right knee, squeeze the glutes and just lift and lower at your own pace. Keep going, there's no wrong place to start here, just a couple more, you can do it. And release. And then just start to bring that left knee in towards the chest, maybe holding behind the thigh or in front of the shin, close your eyes if you'd like. This posture is called reclined pigeon or sleeping pigeon or my personal favorite dead pigeon. So pick your favorite name and just enjoy the stretch along the IT band. Great job. Let's bring both feet back to the floor now. Lift the hips back up into a bridge and just start widening and then bringing the knees back together. So this is similar to our clamshell exercise that we did in the beginning, except we're actually doing a double clamshell here. So we're really working the outside of both thighs at the same time. And we're strengthening that area to help relieve and manage any hip pain or any IT band pain. Just keep going, only a couple more. And then just hold that bridge pose. So squeeze the glutes here, press the hips up, and imagine that somebody was trying to squeeze your knees together. You can even bring your hands to the outside of your thighs and push inwards, resisting your own strength here. You can do it, keep the hips high, keep resisting. We're almost there and then we have that final yummy stretch that I promised. So the hips come down and then simply shift your hips over to the left side of your mat. Then straighten the legs and bring both feet over to the right side of the mat with the left ankle crossed over the right. And then move the upper body towards the right side as well. Bring the arms over the head and just hold on to opposite elbows. So you're making a curve with your entire body uh, and this pose is actually called banana pose and I'm sure you can understand why. It's really one of my favorite stretches to release the entire side body. So feel free to shift around a little bit until you find the angle and placement that works for you. Maybe close your eyes and just breathe deeply in and out through the nose. Thank yourself again for the hard work you've put in today. It will make a difference. Even when 10 minutes is all we've got, I really believe that that's enough to make a difference in our bodies and in our minds. Beautiful. And then when you're ready to switch sides, keep the eyes closed if you'd like. Just place the feet flat on the floor to help you lift the hips over to the right side of the mat and then curve the body into that banana shape again. So the right ankle crosses over the left and holding opposite elbows above the head on the left side of the mat as well. And I invite you to stay here as long as you would like, or you can take a traditional shavasana at the end of the video. And in addition to thanking yourself, I would also like to thank you too for joining me today. I really hope this IT band routine helped you. So please leave me a comment to let me know if it did. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more 10 minute sequences. 
You can also check out my two previous routines for hip pain and bursitis, which I will link in the description box below the video. Thank you again, and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day as you come into your traditional Shavasana. Keeping the eyes closed for a few moments here, breathing deeply, and letting go. Namaste.